This video demonstrates physical virtual tools, our new user interface methodology for spatial augmented reality. We allow a designer to digitally airbrush onto artifacts using a virtualized stencil. Three tools have been developed for this application. The airbrush functions in a similar way to its real life counterpart. Digital paint leaves the brush in a cone shaped volume. This is implemented by drawing the scene from the point of view of the airbrush to a frame buffer object, encoding the UV coordinates of the artifact that were hit by the paint. We then iterate across the frame buffer object and updating the textures. This allows us to achieve similar effects to a real airbrush. Spraying from a distance causes a larger area on the artifact to be painted, but with each point receiving less paint than if it was painted from close up. Applying the paint at a grazing angle to the object causes a large area of paint to be applied. Introducing the stencil tool allows the designer to airbrush onto the artifact, masking areas from receiving paint. The stencil operates in two modes, either the stencil shape is the mask, or the tool is the mask, with the stencil shape acting as a hole in the tool, allowing paint to pass through. In addition to the shapes provided, we allow the user to create their own stencils by drawing onto the stencil tool with the airbrush. This gives the system more flexibility, as the designer can create their own stencil to accomplish a certain task. Stencil creation would be difficult to achieve without the use of physical virtual tools. The stylus tool is used for annotation directly onto the artifact. For example, a designer might make notes for modifications during a design meeting with a client. Annotating directly on the object can improve the dialogue between designer and client, as the client can verify the changes that are presented visually. We place user interface controls onto the stencil tool, in addition to the stencil shape itself. Pressing the buttons on the left of the tool allows the user to change the mode of operation. They can select a new stencil shape, change the paint colour, Invert the stencil or create their own stencil. This video has demonstrated our two-handed airbrushing technique using physical virtual tools, our new user interface methodology for spatial augmented reality. Thank you for watching.